Hi, it's Queen Bee Mandy here. Just um, doing a video of um, uh, it's a coat um, unit. As you see, um, they're very popular at the moment. I couldn't get that out there. Start again. What I'm trying to say is, they're very popular at the moment. You hang your clothes on a storage kind of unit for clothes to hang on. And I'll show you another thing that you can also do with it. Um, I took a few minutes to put it up. Um, I'll show you the pictures on my, a picture on my phone and where I got it from. And if you use that Allen key, it took me, what, about a few minutes? Not even that. Um, it's very sturdy. I got it from eBay. Um, they're very popular at the moment. They come packed like this um, in a box. There it is there, if you can see it. The box comes flat pack. It's not very big. Um, I haven't put mine up yet. I put my other black one up for my partner, but not for myself. Um, you put your coats up there, and you still got storage down here. And I'll show you the pictures on eBay of what it's like. Um, I did take one of how I put the black one up. Right, sorry about the mess because our house is damp, like I said. Um, you might only just about see it. You can get more than that one, but that's my husband just putting it up how he wants to put it up. Um, sorry, I'll go back on it again hit it off. Right, you can only just about see it on there. But I'll show you how it is and there's a closer version. Um, but this is how it is, the black one. You can get it on eBay at the moment um, for I think it was Eleven ninety nine, but they got a deal on at the moment. You can buy two at ten pound. Hang on, I'll just get that. Right. Put my glasses on. Right, you can get two for t ten pound ninety five each. Um, that is the black one that you just seen that I put up in the bedroom. You seen it on the picture. That's the one I got. Ten pounds come off it. You can't say that's a lot. Um, to um, store your clothes. I don't know what you call them, but on the box it's got it's called a coat hanger. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's called, a coat hanger. But um, the storage I call it a little storage unit. Well, same thing really. You can get it in the black. You can get it in the pink. What I've got, but I haven't put my pink one up. Yeah, but they're on special for two. Um, come off. This is cheap. Um, the pink one's a little bit uh, cheaper, but this comes at eleven forty nine each. But they've got a deal on if you buy two together. As you can see, you can do it. You can store it, put boxes and things down there, and some clothes along there. Even when you're doing um, a tutorial on clothes for a haul, you can have it up there. It takes a few minutes to put up. But as you can see, it's got plenty of storage down there. And it's cheap. And this is how it comes in parts like this. It lo you may look a lot, but it's not. You've got the instructions. It takes a few minutes to put up. You've got an Allen key. You've got a few screws. You've got a shelf and the pose and you just screw it in it's very simple to get up that's how the flat pack I was showing you the flat pack of my other one like this it comes on eBay and then this is another thing you could do with it which I was thinking about if I bought any more when I move into a decent place I will show you um, you can hang plants on it which is a good idea. I like that idea and 
home might look, do that. In the kitchen it would look nice, in the conservatory it would look nice. Because um, I'm doing interior design at the moment, I like to have things be a bit unusual. You can hang it from the top rail, as you can see, some plants, and you can put some on the shelves at the bottom. Um, I thought that was a good idea of what you can do to it. I don't think I would rather put that big one on as I don't. I don't know. Some people would like it, but I don't. I just like plants on it, like this one, hanging plants from the top, and a few on the shelves. I think that's a very good idea that you can use them for. Um, being they're only um, £10 each and you can get them more special at the moment. I find that's good but like I said, I put that one up and um, it took me a few minutes but my husband spread it out so it looked a bit, a bit much because you need to keep them close together and he hangs too much on one hanger he stores the stuff down the bottom shelf but like I said um, I've got a pink one you can get it in white pink or black but I do like the pink but I haven't put it up yet like I said because I showed you the box and being on eBay as special as you can see um, I think they're a good bargain that's why I thought I'd come on and show you but see, seeing I've still got my pink one in the box, that's why I got them. I think they're good. You can get two the same colour or two different ones. Um, but seeing they're very popular at the moment, I just thought it's a good idea to have them, um, like I said, as plant um, plant holders as well, like I showed you on there. Cause I find that very good because like I said conservatory or maybe in the corner of the um, in the corner of the sitting room um, they would look nice these are white ones that are hung on like I said which is good a good idea um, yeah I like things like that and I also want to show you um, also, well, also wanted to tell you, also, we're going on to the next thing, which I want to add in on this, is some tips that I wrote down, because, <coughs> oh, sorry about <coughs> my cough again, because um, I was writing it down and I thought I would tell you um, about it. I will put it all down below, well, about the unit. I will talk to you about the tips of makeup on here. Um, it's a nice day and hope you all are well. Um, I will begin to talk to you more as well in some more videos ahead. Right, now I was going to say if you use those sponge makeup sponges, now I'm not 100% keen on them. I do use them but only now and again because they hold a lot of bacteria they cake your makeup on and I think that's not a good idea to have a nice base on your face um, so what I feel that you should do <coughs> Sorry, what I feel that you should do is use a latex sponge instead because some people can be irritated to it, making them sore on the face and bringing them out in spots and having bacteria, which is not good for your skin. And you know, it's very uncomfortable. I thought I'd give you that tip. The next tip is um, when you want to match your foundation it's so hard to do that so I advise you to um, get instead of doing it like that because it costs a lot of money to keep getting a couple of powders and a couple of foundations together to get that good match and cake your face at the same time it's not good um, so some people might like that 
but I don't, but I just thought, and it works out expensive. So I feel that if you use a transparent powder instead to give you a natural finish, um, so you can see I've wrote it all down because I, I keep it in my head, but I have to sometimes keep it down on paper as well. Um, you also get a good a good coverage and a good um, a good coverage and a good tone. It, like it, it, the transparent powder is good on your face with um, with the foundation powder. Um, you could try that. Um, because some of the cheaper version foundations are just as good as what the expensive ones are so how you look at it is just how it is um, also when you want to um, apply apply mascara now I put so many down here now for to tell you. Right, I'd say this one. Facial scrubs, right, you might want to use them, but sometimes just to take your makeup off, but what you had on all day, but you might as well just use um, the right cleanser oil to remove your makeup and it refreshes your skin. Um, with scrubs, you just sometimes spending a lot of money at once again I'm trying to make it a little bit easier but if you want to also also um, get a good foundation sometimes because if you don't want to buy two foundations together just go and get the original one what you usually get and put some serum in um, or put a moisturizer base on before you put the foundation on put some serum in and then pr apply it to your face and it makes a good base better than it is keep buying all these um, foundations and saving you money and um, like I said back at the, with the scrubs because it can cause a lot of problems that's I'm not saying that they're not good but sometimes it's just better to use an oil base remover to take your makeup off um, also put down I think I put it back here because I've wrote so much down here right I think, sorry I'm taking my time because I was just writing it down so much and there's so much of it down here, I'm finding it hard way. Right, I have put so much down here with them before, but like I said, even when you want to, um, Even when you want to tighten, try tightening, um, get a tightening look on your face um, <coughs> where the eyes are, where the lashes are when you do the liner, sometimes there's a bit a gap. So um, you use the liner, a waterproof one to fill in where the lashes are so that you um, so that you get a, a tightening lifted effect like feathering with the liner on the lash like going along just feathering it where the gaps are and um, it will look like they're lifted but lift your uh, put your clean fingers up and lift it up like this and then do it that way 
and then put a water based um, liner on but get all the gaps filled in um, and it's like when you put a concealer by your side of your face you're lifting it up if you do it upwards it's lifting your eye up to get a lifted effect but if there's any gaps like I said with eyeliner because sometimes it leaves gaps just fill them in even on the waterline because the waterline will make it look like it's tightened make sure you fill them in um, I think that's it at the minute but um, but if you get also get a, 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 I'll quickly put this in if you also get a primer a prime lipstick it's good for your lips too and it gives a pop because um, using concealer on your lips and then putting your lipstick on it will give a pop to your lips and it will give a sharper finish to your lips as well I hope these tips are all okay. Uh, you know, I do try to sort of like give a good video, and I hope the video is good. Um, sorry, I was just taking it off because I was being uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I do try to give good videos best I can, and I am giving a few tips out. I hope they helped. I hope you like the video wasn't trying to rush and I hope you like the tips on the coat hanger unit as they call it the coat hanger. I don't know why it's got that on the books but that's what it's got on there maybe that's what it's called you have to leave a comment down below and tell me I just don't know but I would call it a unit but it's a good idea to use it for plants also because I think that would look nice and make the room stand out good um, and look brighter um, because I'm doing interior design at the moment finishing off my course I'm enjoying every minute of it, getting to the last bit of it, and um, I like unusual stuff. Uh, I'll probably bring some of my tips in, maybe later on, and I'll let you know. Um, but I do my makeup, I do all different things, and I hope you enjoy my videos. Thumbs up. If you like videos, please press the button to subscribe to my channel. I need subscribers on my channel. I would be so grateful because it makes me a bit upset because I feel I am trying but I don't feel like people are liking it. Maybe they are but I maybe they're not. I don't know because I can't tell people what to like but I do get upset a little bit because I'm really trying to see if you can enjoy my videos and I will bring them as much as I can and I hope you will leave comments down below please subscribe press the red button I'll be so so happy and please leave your comments down below maybe in time because I am new to this channel I am trying and working hard to try and do this May if you can't pick up on these tips I will try and bring it in on some hauls if I can at some point, but um, I hope you did on the makeup tips, um, but I hope you like me showing you the eBay coat hanger unit um, that can be made into a plant unit, very fashionable um, and very good for your clothes hauls when you're doing clothes hauls on here which that's what I found I got and they're a reasonable price on eBay like I said you can buy two um, it's a deal on there £10 each £10 to £11 maybe a little bit more but not that much and I think that's good prices and they're so sturdy and good it took me a few minutes to pick it, put it together with Allen Key as you've seen on the picture I showed you hope that was good video and you, I hope you all are well and enjoying the nice weather. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.